Abama CBO was started in the year 2001 September. The purpose of starting Burma was to fight the humanizing hunger that is for food security, HIV and AIDS, and to promote education amongst the people of Burma. Burma is formed by four villages. One village is called Barukwiri, and from that we have taken letter B. The other village is Achuodo. From Achuodo we've taken the alphabet A. The third village is Magombe, and from Magombe we have taken M. And the last village is Abida. If you take the first alphabet letters of uh, each village's name, you come to the name Bama Community-Based Organization. Um, in 2001, Bama was besieged by sesse flies, which had killed all the livestock and was now attacking human beings. And our first activity was repair and reconstruction of animal cattle dip which is there. Um, this dip was used to spray livestock with chemicals which killed sesse flies. And I must take you back a bit. When we started, we only had 67 herd of cattle in the whole four villages. We now have 1,361 herd of cattle. Our people are now able till the land, other than using hand power, they are now using animal traction power. Because we knew the rainfall was getting small and less and less and less, we came to local vegetables, some of which are here. The kind of rains we are now having cannot sustain are foreign or alien or exotic foods. They can only sustain the local crops which grow by themselves. I think uh, in the neighborhood, if we can walk around, you will find that whenever rain falls, we can get food. Uh, for a moment, uh, like this one, this is a vegetable. We did not plant it. This is a vegetable which is edible, very nice. My people forgot about it. They went for drumhead, cabbages, carrots, and it has a lot of medicinal values in it. It has a lot of food values in it. What do we do? When the rain fall, falls, when the rain comes, they grow by themselves. This kind of vegetable, another one is here. This one is called Budonya Duolo. This is another vegetable. What do you need to do with it? Train my people that when rain falls, let us harvest them, preserve them. So when there is no rainfall, we turn back to them and then we eat without going hungry. Let us study from the grassroots. Africa is not the same everywhere. Each village has its own temperatures. It has its own natural vegetation. It has its own background. Let us start studying solutions of all the villages per village. If we do this and we make a general large movement covering the whole continent, Definitely, I want to believe, and I believe sincerely, that Africa is endowed with massive resources. Africa can feed itself. If we can only make use of the natural resources in Africa, like trees, rivers, freshwater lakes, the fish, and our own ideas, we can 
is a legate out of Africa's poverty and hunger. We don't need to be we don't need to rely on food support from elsewhere. Africa has better rains than many parts of Europe and America. So my idea is we need to form a, a very big network whose membership is drawn practically from the grassroots. That will be the solution to Africa. <laughs>